Today I'll be giving you a brief overview of influencer marketing and I'm going to show you a few different examples along the way. So what is influencer marketing? So influencer marketing is a form of marketing where companies are paying either a group of people or an individual with a large following, usually on social media or somebody who owns a very popular blog. And what they're trying to do is get people to promote their products to people that follow them who already trust the content that they're putting out. So influencers have very loyal followings and they can actually affect the purchasing decisions of the people that are following them because there's a lot of different people that are waiting for the next piece of content that their favorite influencers putting out. So if you can promote your brand and your products directly to that audience, that would be really the goal of influencer marketing. So it works because it's a form of word of mouth marketing, always been very, very effective. And essentially, influencers have established credibility with their followers, so companies are paying influencers to use their products and say, here is why I'm using this product, and I love this product, you go out and get it, you can get it here. So this is why it works, is because they're essentially saying, I am using product XYZ, product XYZ has the following benefits to my life, and here's why you should purchase product XYZ. So it's a very quick and easy way to reach potential customers and build trust. So there's different types of influencer marketing and different ways that influencers are actually paid when they are marketing specific products. So sponsored content is probably the most popular method. And what that is, is brands will pay influencers generally a fixed fee to create content with their products or services. So they'll send them whatever it may be, let's just say it's makeup, and then the influencer makes a video of them using that makeup, and the brand pays a fixed fee for that. Product reviews, pretty similar to sponsored content, but they will send products to use and review with the influencers that they're working with. And basically both the brand and the influencer will generally post that content to their channel. Giveaways and contests. So one of the best ways to amplify a giveaway and to get a bunch of people to sign up for your giveaway is to use influencers who already have that large following who are going to be interested in whatever product that you're giving away. So affiliate marketing, influencers have a unique link, and when people click on that link, they earn a commission for every single sale they make. Last but not least, brand ambassadorship and sponsorships, generally longer term influencer marketing strategies where you are hiring somebody to be an ambassador for your brand. So you're basically trying to tap into that person's followers and you're paying them on a contract basis generally to continuously reach their followers. So how does it work? So basically companies will identify their target market and the websites that their target market is using. So is your target market on Facebook? Are they on TikTok? Are they on Snapchat? Wherever they may be. Then they contact influencers who have large followings on some of these different websites. You either contact them directly or there are a bunch of a different influencer marketing agencies where they connect companies with influencers with the goal to reach their target market. Then they pay the influencers to use their products and create content, and then that content is posted either on their blog, social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitch, basically anywhere where people have a following, they may post some type of sponsored content, and it provides the influencer with a payment, and it provides companies with revenue. And companies can measure success by analyzing the overall engagement and the sales that are tied back to the influencers that they hire. So if they're able to gain thousands of new followers, if they're, if they're able to drive a ton of new sales, it's obviously gonna be more effective, but it always comes down to how much are you paying for influencer marketing and essentially what is the return on ad spend from your investment into influencer marketing. So to give you some examples to finish the video off, the qualified captain is a boating, fishing, account on Instagram, 1 million followers here. So they, they're actually a clothing brand, but it's all geared towards boating, ships, fishing, different things like that. And if you look here, you're gonna see the 20 ticket giveaway to the Palm Beach International Boat Show. So obviously very targeted to the people that are following them. And you can see we're giving away 20 free tickets this year. Here's how to enter, follow both accounts, like this post, share your story, tag a friend. So basically what you're trying to say is, we're trying to gain more followers, specifically the Palm Beach Boat Show. So we're gonna use this influencer that has a million followers to hopefully gain some more followers, give away some tickets, and grow to an already engaged audience that's going to be interested in our follow-up posts. Another one that they did, so couldn't be happier to team up with Onslow Bay Boatworks to build one of the most qualified center consoles in the industry. 
then they're tagging all of these different brands here. So this is basically just a large influencer marketing example where Onslow Bay Boatworks is working with the qualified captain, and then these are all sponsors as well. So just basically just a complete example of an influencer marketing post. Now the next one, Allbirds, so they have an influencer here and they literally use the word influencing us to wear the riser on all of our city explorations. I clicked through to her profile, she has over 100,000 followers, so she's probably posting this content to her social media channel and then Allbirds is posting this on their social media channel as well. Next, so Glossier, pretty expensive deodorant, but they're using influencers and you could see here, they created their own video, husband and wife, and then they post it and then Glossier posts it directly to their own channel. Now here is one where somebody with over a million followers on Instagram has a spot with L'Oreal Paris in Walmart. So basically two different brands and you're gonna see, come see me, try the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift 12% vitamin C serum. And obviously she has her own little section in Walmart that's selling these and they're using her influencing to basically sell their product. Now, next example, Buffalo Wild Wings. So this is Sauce Gardner. So he's an NFL player and his nickname is Sauce. So they created their own sauce with him. Obviously it makes sense. It says football season is almost over, but we still got that sauce, better with sauce. He posted to his social media channels. Buffalo Wild Wings posted to their social media channels. And then they use basically his likeness to sell more bottles of this sauce that they created specifically for this player with the nickname Sauce. Now, next example, obviously we're getting much larger with who we're calling influencers, but Kendall Jenner, obviously millions and millions of followers across all sorts of different channels. So pretty sure she just has an ongoing relationship with Calvin Klein, but what they'll do is every now and then you post the video, you post some content, she posts it to her channel, Calvin Klein posts it to their channel, and basically what all they're doing is amplifying the total amount of likes that they're getting, and you're tapping into an influencer who has access to millions and millions and millions of loyal fans. Now next, obviously one of the largest influencers in the world, LeBron James, works with Nike, he's a Nike athlete, so they'll do videos and content and advertisements, basically every possible thing they can with LeBron James. He has his own shoe with Nike, so this is a much larger example of influencer marketing that much larger companies are using that some of our small brands obviously can't really uh, compete with or afford. Last but not least, Sephora, so Lady Gaga's face card never declines, glammed out in a Sephora product for the champagne carpet by a specific artist, and then all the different products that she's using that are Sephora products, and obviously Lady Gaga has plenty of fans, so just a very, very large example of influencer marketing. But a lot of times when you're talking about influencer marketing, you're generally talking about influencers like this that have hundreds of thousands or millions of followers on social media and brands are reaching out to them directly so that they can tap into those followers. So if you have any questions about influencer marketing, this is a basic overview of how it works, but there are influencer marketing agencies. So if you're trying to hire an influencer, you could either go directly with an agency or you could just simply reach out to people, find their contact information and say, we're interested in you using our product or posting about our product. Here's our budget. How much do you charge? There's a lot of influencers that already have set prices where they're gonna say, if you want me to post on my channel, it's gonna cost you $5,000, $1,000, $500. Really depends on the overall engagement that they're getting. It depends on how many followers they're having. And basically it depends on whether or not brands believe that they can have a positive return on ad spend from working with this influencer. But it is a great way to basically tap into word of mouth marketing and get access to a bunch of loyal fans who have already built up trust with an influencer. So basically when they are using your product, it makes your product look a little more trustworthy, at least to their fans. So again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.